Well, it looks like Caps and Perks are doing the old reverse roll swap back to Uma John and Claps. So what better time to take a look back at just how incredibly lethal Caps was in the mid lane. These are the top 10 plays from Caps' career. 2018 MSI was supposed to be all about Reckless, fresh off his MVP of the split and double pentakill performance versus G2 in the finals, but on the international stage, it was Caps who started the tournament with a bang for the black and gold. Attic, and Caps is able to push in his lane. Well, let's see what he can do. Follows up with a Q, manages to get the last breath as well. A shield comes up. And oh! oh! a steel Tempest for the solo kill. Win condition enabled. That was insane from Caps. So, so clean getting the auto in before the last breath. Before his roll swap, Caps always seemed to enjoy playing AD carries mid, and unfortunately for Misfits, they learned the hard way that there's nothing troll about Vayne mid, when one perfectly timed condemn can change an entire series. Pushing for the in hit, Box is the one to step forward, Alfari will tank it up for the moment, here comes Caps. Getting on to Alfari, oh, oh. with the three man knock up, Hero's entrance comes in, another three man, Caps! Caps! Kill time summer! Exactly what you want from your main man in a fight like this. Caps comes up huge. What an amazing performance from Fnatic. And Misfits went for the ballsy play. They went for the inhib. But Fnatic do not give an inch. Even though G2 didn't get their revenge from 2018 against IG in MSI 2019, Cap still showed that it was a completely different team with him on the roster. And they have Baron buff to push multiple lanes. Caps is in trouble here. Oh man, what can he do? He's flashing forward, trying to make his way to Mickey. Mickey will put some damage. There's good Caps. damage in apply. I did not expect that to happen. Already there's one onto the shot. Now Nick is in trouble. He finds a kill onto Mickey and he's escaping with his life. Rookie's got a cataclysm. Does he throw it down? Yes, that will be enough. Now Jackie Love turns his attention to perks. Flashes forward. The Captain Rain gets the kills. Jackie Love is ripping apart G2. Caps needs to pop this GA. Teleport is available for Wonder. He should be able to join the fight in just a moment. Jackie Love steps forward. Ooh, the shield from Caps keeps him alive. G2 rarely dropped a game in 2019 spring, and when they did have a little bit too much fun on the rift, it was often up to Caps to calm the lads down, even if it took a 1v4 scenario to do it. Wonder, I'm looking for the Glacial Prison, hasn't been thrown down yet! The knockup is already gonna take down Yankos, there's no more smite inside the fight! Cajal and Kasing are going low and Caps is running away. Decimating Smash comes down but there's not a follow-up, Wonder's hunting Cajal, trying to get the shutdown gold. Cajal is worth so much money, but look at the burst damage! Oh. Caps isn't done yet, oh. he's got one, he's got two, he's gonna get taken down before he can find Cajal. Now Cajal is gonna spell shield up at least some damage from Wonder. Wonder's trying... The Cloud9 Fnatic rivalry was set to reach new heights in the semifinals of 2018 Worlds, but the series was really over before the third game even started as Caps lined up the entire C9 lineup and shuffled them off the rift. Keep in mind this could be back doorable easily by Fnatic on the walk forward. Oh. Couple of shots in for Whippo. Then I can turn it down. Will this be a fight? In goes Slickerish. And it's a big bunch of damage. They popped off one. But here comes the backline access. Slicker puts the flash away. It's two for one, three for one. Kills coming across. As C9 pick up the combo oh. on the backline. Oh, look at Caps! He's done everything! Oh. And Sneaky falls! A massive quadra kill for Caps! The semifinals at MSI 2019 was the symbolic moment of Caps shedding the title of Baby Faker and simply becoming Claps, single handedly eradicating the SKT backline en route to his second ever pentakill to tie the series was a good starting point on that quest. This is Will Connect and the teleport now being channeled by Khan. Unstoppable Onslaught's not available, but it might not be needed. That's an interrupt. Devastating charge delivers perks into the backline. There goes Faker chasing down the perks. Perks stays alive for now. Can't find the next act. All of a sudden, though, it's a one for one. Support for AD. Yankos, as well as Caps, get themselves a reply back. Now Caps turns attention to Khan. Faker's running low. He needs to get some reach. Whoa! He is popped by Caps. 
Cats is throwing out every single ability and turning his attention to Khan. It's a quadra kill for Caps and G2. Caps goes all the way to the steps of the fountain for a penta kill as G2 equalized the series at one to one. Long before Caps' transformation into Claps, he was just baby faker with tons of potential. Now, we didn't have to wait long to see that potential. In his first series ever in the LEC with Fnatic, he taught his future teammate in perks a thing or two about the mid lane. Caps didn't get to push out and get that super Caps of the week, go. gets the stun, Caps flashes forward, oh, turns it, it on to perks, first blood to baby faker. Here in Europe, as I'm getting a little carried away, Caps is in trouble, knocked up, gets the shield, running for his life. The ghost is buying time. Perks has got 300 HP, looking for the kill. One auto, oh, the shield, oh, Caps does oh it again! God. The true beauty of the Caps era of G2 is when they see a hopeless 2v4 situation, they shrug their shoulders and say, I'll take those odds. And the MVP is a G2. Caps and Wonder must do the work. There's no ultimate for Wonder, so this is going to be hard. I'm going to try the dunk going forward towards how to be really good damage towards the Rise thing. Alive finds Root flashing back to the pit. All they do is make oh, 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 oh no! The smite is early. A kill comes through as well. Make it a second. The solo laners do absolutely everything for G2. And once again, at the Baron, that ultimate 43 health early. left. Caps is able to get it with the AoE, and then look how he survived with sub three digit HP. They finish off all <laughs> of the kills in addition to stealing Baron. The solo laners of G2 just completely rewrite history for the last five minutes. One of the main reasons G2 destroyed Team Liquid in the fastest international series of all time is because not even two people were enough to stop Caps. They still don't have the cooldown on Syndra's ult back up. They might try for the attempt right here if you can find the QE. Nice juke by Caps, but will be hit a little bit. Nice double sun comes in, ult comes in as well. He's got a lot of a playground to play around with. They find that first stun, they find some damage, but Ignite means he will get the solo kill to 1v2. And Caps tries it for Jensen, and here comes Mickey! G2 slaughtering Team Liquid! Team Liquid try to play through mid lane, but they cannot lock down Caps. The beautiful sidestep to dodge the stun getting the double stun for himself, and then throwing out the ultimate to get multiple procs of the Q, enable him to get what was a beautiful outplay. Yeah, Caps, absolutely insane here, using the mobility of uh, Aurelia, and they pick up the second kill onto Jensen. Syndra's main weakness as a champion is her lack of mobility, but that's not a problem if you're Caps, just don't get hit by a single ability at all. For a dive man, Fnatic, they want to go mid, not bot. All right, no flash available. Caps is going to need to find some sort of stun or ultimate. He actually just gets chunked out of the oh, oh, Take a look at that. The hex oh, is oh, And Caps turns it around. Praise, praise from Garab backstage as Caps finds a kill. Claps has come to pay, and he gets the outplay onto Nemesis. Great position to find this kill because the stun gets used by Caps. He sidesteps the ultimate, he sidesteps the Q, Broxa has to tank all the tower, and then because Nemesis takes one too many shots, Caps is able to get the kill. Look at the smile on his face as he gets and a bit of dancing on the dead body.